guys, today this video is gonna show you how to make these bracelets. I'm gonna call it snowy flowers bracelets. I made these bracelets a while back. The reason why I didn't make the video for it because I already have a videos for this one. And they're pretty much similar. That's why I didn't make the video for this one. A lot of you see me when on my other videos and are interested in making them. So I'm gonna make a video today. For this project, we're gonna set our rooms for upside down triangle in the bottom here and we're gonna keep red arrows point away from you. We're gonna start with the edge colors. I'm gonna use green for the holiday seasons and you start it from center first to the first on your left and then you're going up from here to here and then then we use single bands for this from here to here here to here and here to here and then do the same things for your right from center to your first right first right to second and then second right comes back to the center this is the border for our first flower now we're gonna make the border for the second flower so you take single bands continue here from the thirds on the centers and goes up and thirds on your left and then Deep here, skip here, no pens here, and then continue from here to here, and from here to here. Then you come back here on these centers, the center from the bottom, from here to here, and then here to here and we just complete our second flowers border and continue to do this until the end of the room parts you skip this two and stop right here and this is what it should look like for the border now we're gonna come back here and start it for our first flower first we're gonna take one single white band for the snow you go from centers first on your right and then do the same thing first on your left and then goes in to the center and then from center goes up here make sure you keep all the bands nice and neat because it's gonna be a lot of bands connect to here and it will be a whole lot easier when we start doing looping now we're gonna press the red part of the flower you from center to here it's very important how you press the bands we start from here to here and then going clockwise and finish to here second from center to here first on your right and now next in the center from first to second and first left to the center and second left 
to the center. Again, make sure in the center here, don't overlap your bands because it will be hard to find it there and we need to do the looping. And then center goes up. Again, for the red part, we started from center to second on your right and going clockwise and finish last one here and center to here. Now, we're going to start working on the second flowers. I'm going to show you one more time. For the white parts, from the center of the flowers, this is center of the flowers, and then it comes out from here to here. And then, second white bands from here to here. The next will be from center and going up to the next one. From here to here. And then do the red parts, center, going out to right, and going this way clockwise and finish here. And then Connect these two flowers together from here to here. And then from right to center, here to here. And then center to your left again. And then center goes up. Now just repeat this step and then finish all the flowers. And then I will meet you here. And this is what it should look like. Now we're going to take white single bands and twist one time. You will see two rings here. And then make a cap bands. And the last one and first one. And then we're going to make cap bands for the center of the each flowers. And this is what it should look like. We're already looping the bands. We rotate the room and then we start it from here. First flowers and look for the first bands under the cap bands. And then you put it back to the first one. And then go and start this one and then go on this way. So I'll just look for the next band and then And 
means it's our first flowers and that's what it should look like. Now we're going to continue to do the second flowers and the same. We reach under the cap bands and grab the first red band. This part is kind of hard but you just need to hold on to it and then hook it the first ones push down all the bands first red bands hook it back here and then we find the next band will be this one and going this way and finish right here so the next bands come here and make sure you have all the teardrops the white pen and this is what it should look like after you dance make sure you have teardrops for all of this and in the center it should look like this and continue to do this for all of flowers This is what it should look like after you loop in all the flowers and after you finish all of them here we come back here and do the edge color then you reach down here on the first green and grab it and hook it to your lap and then First, left, hook it to the second, and then third ones come back here to the centers, and then you come back here, start from here, and then find the bands here, here, and here. what it should look like. We have completed the first four hours and then we're gonna continue to do this until the end of the zoom. For the center part here it's gonna be a little bit harder because so many bands going through here so we need to be real gentle so you won't break your band. And when you grab it you should be able to see the teardrops between the green beans, green band, and two teardrops, one on top and one in the bottom.
this is what it should look like. Now we're gonna take a single pen and then you went through here. And this is a secure pen. And secure it. Actually, this one we're gonna make an extension, so we're just gonna leave it here. And it's time to pull it up. Now we're gonna make an extension for it. So start with red arrows point away from you and just take single pens, make it like singles from first to second. And for my size, I need nine of them. You can adjust to the size that will fit you the best. And for, for, for those of you that already know how to make singles, you can skip these parts and you're done. And then you rotate the loom and you press your braces and the last one. And you use this as cap pen so you don't need cap pen. And then just looping them from here to here. Secrets through here and take your hooks out and then find your cap bands on the other end and then hook it to the secret. And here it's your braces. Thank you for watching. See you next time.